Hey guys, check this out. Bloomberg article says that GTA home sales have been ticking downward despite interest rate drops. The headline's a bit misleading because Treb says home sales in July were up from last year, but down from a month earlier despite a jump in listings. The board said there were 5,391 homes sold in July in the GTA, down 13% from June when 6,202 were sold. July marked the second slowest month for sales this year, coming in after January. Keep in mind, January and July are traditionally slow months in the calendar year for real estate. The article goes on to say, recent decreases suggest buyers aren't moving off the sidelines of the housing market as fast as some expected when interest rates and mortgage rates began ticking down in recent months. Trump President Jennifer Pierce saw some encouraging signs in the numbers. She pointed out 3.3% rise in year-over-year -year home sales. The buyers that have waited in the market early have found plenty of choices as sellers have increasingly moved to put their home up for sale in the recent months. New listings total is 16,296 in July, up 18.5% from last year. Listings growth outpaced sales on a year-over-year -year basis. Treb's chief market analyst Jason Mercer said, as more buyers take advantage of more affordable mortgage payments in the months ahead, they'll benefit from the substantial buildup in inventory. He goes on to say this will initially keep home prices relatively flat. However, as inventory is absorbed, market conditions will tighten in the absence of large-scale increases in home completions, ultimately leading to a resumption of price growth. The average selling price in July was just above 1.1 million, down 0.9% from July 2023 when it was 1.116 million. It was also down from June when the average home sold was 1.16 million. That mouthful was just to explain that we're down year over year and we're down from last month. So let me know what you think in the comments. What is the fall market going to bring?